high fans of high quality entertainment. Now, I have an unboxing to do. I have so many, I shouldn't talk with a knife in my hands. I have so many video ideas coming up, uh, including another reaction video this time. Last time it was Molly reacting to Genesis. This time it's me. And I think I'll, there's going to be two, two separate videos for that. And I, I was also thinking of going through my whole CD collection, CD by CD, and just quickly saying something about each CD. And, you know, maybe like in a series, because it would take an hour or more to do that. So, and then there's the other video ideas. I've been very creative lately. So, this is kind of two videos in one, because I would love to know for my viewers, you know, there, there's so many bands in the world, so many solo artists in the world. And I do realize a lot of my viewers are much younger than I am. Some, some in your early 20s or teenagers. But what is a not as well-known band, you know, besides, you know, the obvious, the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, but what is an artist or band that from your early years that you've always really appreciated. Maybe, you know, they're not as well known as other artists, but it's like from early in your love of music, who is an artist? And yeah, of course, there's more than a few as there is with me. So I'd love to know that. Anyway, this is one of many bands that are, they're known, but they're not like really well known. They're more known in uh, Europe. And in the early, it would probably be 1971, my brother, my oldest brother, who's not even really into rock music, too, I mean, he enjoys it, but he's not into it like I am. Uh, and a big Beatles fan, Doors fan, at least back in the day for the Doors. And I almost forgot, but in my community uh, yesterday, I wrote, this Friday, today, I'm doing a four-disc unboxing. The band starts with an A. The first one to guess the band will get a shout-out in the video. And I had almost forgotten. So the first one, there were uh, a band named Nickelback. Uh, Alice in Chains, Alan Parsons Project, Alice Cooper, ACDC, Aerosmith, Adam and the Ants, Asia, America. The person that got the band right. Congratulations to Sheldon Goldstein. This must be one of the greatest days of your life. I'm even going to say the name again. Sheldon Goldstein, you are the winner of nothing. So, anyway, this is just one of the many bands I've really appreciated. Thanks to my brother buying them. And I've mentioned this band before, I think for one of the underrated album, classic album series. But this is a four disc of their early years. And if you've never heard Atomic Rooster, if I remember at the end of this video, I'll have a, a video for the song Death Walks Behind You. And some of you would know, well, especially if you're a prog rock fan, uh, the drummer for Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Carl Palmer, he was in Atomic Rooster. He played on their first album, which is part of this. So this includes uh, the 
from their debut album, Atomic Rooster, 1970. And then their second album, Death Walks Behind You. Their third album, In Hearing of Atomic Rooster. And it was those two albums that my, my brother had on vinyl, Death Walks Behind You, which, except for that song, the rest of the album I never got into, but now I've heard it on Spotify and I think it's really great. And then In Hearing of Atomic Rooster, which I played quite a, quite a bit, and I've always loved that album. And then the fourth one is Nice and Greasy, which I have never ever heard. So, nice little box set here. It's okay. Don't panic. No damage. And looks like it comes with some uh, yeah, A and B sides of singles, and so a bit of bonus material too. Oh, it comes with a booklet for me to scan. Oh, and you know what? When you scan, you don't need any ink. Very nice booklet. It always, you know, these box sets, there's some box sets. I mean, they're still worth buying, you know, the CDs are remastered. <laughs> but there's still booklet, and it's like, you cheap little but a very nice booklet. booklet. Yeah, if you've never heard Atomic Rooster, uh, I think almost, I was thinking this the other day, the song Death Walks Behind You, plus many other songs, but that song in particular, it's like I don't see how any fan of rock music you know, on the heavier side of rock music, would not at least really like the song. It's got a killer guitar riff, uh, great drumming. That's, I believe that's the cover for their first album, which I've never heard either. So it's just the two middle albums that I've heard. There's Vincent Crane, the great keyboardist. I guess that's the, uh, I was wrong, that's the debut cover. That's Death Walks Behind You, which has had two different covers. I didn't have that cover, I had the, uh, the other one. Well, maybe, no, maybe that was the cover. I don't know. It was way back in 1970. Do you remember where you were in 1970 or 71? And then I love that. I've always, for some reason, loved that cover. In Hearing of Atomic Rooster. And then the gatefold with the band. And then, oh, Made in England. I thought it was called Mason Greasy. Made in England? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Made in England. I, did, I, I had missed that one. So that's included, which I've never heard. And then... Nice and greasy. So really nice uh, booklet. There's the albums. Uh, Sleeping for the Years, the studio albums. So that is the, I guess the first album. And there's Carl Palmer, who went on to great success with Emerson. Lake and Palmer. Death Walks Behind You. The only thing I, I don't really care for is uh, the, you know, it's not the original album cover because it has here for this box set, Sleeping for Years, the studio recordings, but still.
Very nice label. Cool. I'll show you the the debut at one two. I guess this is kind of a ASMR video too, so I'll, I'll put that in the title so somebody out there will complain. So this is the debut album label. So this is really, and it's and the CDs are remastered. But it's disappointing that it's uh, not the original gatefold for this. But uh, this box set was only, I think, $39.99, so I won't complain much. CD4. So there's, I'm a bit confused here with how many albums there are. There's one, two, three, four. No, there's five five albums. But maybe one is a double. I don't know. But there's the. Uh, I guess that's nice and greasy album cover. I'm not sure. I never said that I was an expert on classic rock music. So that's it. That's the box set for Atomic Rooster. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you, if you have not heard Atomic Rooster, I highly recommend you check out the song, Death Walks Behind You, which I will probably forget to put right, right here. Have a great day. Bye.